Hey guys, this is Drew with Kusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. On the other side of this wall, there's gonna be many, many dealers that have a lot of nice coins for sale, but we just got our badge. Let's head inside, show you guys a little bit about the show, and then show you guys some cool stuff that we might find along the way. Let's get this video started. Hey guys, so the show's pretty awesome. Bought a lot of coins so far, but we're gonna show you guys the, the two best coins that we found. Uh, this right here is a 1923, you don't have to zoom in case, 1923 uh, piece dollar. It's not your average piece dollar, the reason why is because it's in a doily holder. I'm gonna show you guys a video uh, just to the side of me here. Um, we picked this coin up for $100. I could sell this coin for $400. So uh, that alone made the trip. Uh, we found this in the first five minutes of the show. Phenomenal piece. Um, the second coin that we're actually picked up today is this 1877 uh, 50 cent seated half dollar. The reason why I enjoy this coin so much is because when you see the video in hand right here, um, it has proof like fields um, on both sides of the coin. When we take a look at the obverse, um, it does have that circulation to it. Um, but like I said, the fields are just phenomenal. When we flip over the coin, uh, you're going to see the same kind of uh, thing happening on the reverse, but there's going to be a nice blue uh, edge rim toning around the coin. Um, you're not going to find coins like this very often. And this is called an early die stage coin, which basically means um, it was a fresh die that stamped out um, a coin, and then as soon as it progressed, went further, they started to look more murky, more crusty. This coin, though, was one of the first made uh, coins on this die, so phenomenal coin. Uh, but let me get back to the show, guys. If you guys are enjoying the video so far, make sure you're leaving a like, commenting your thoughts down below, um, and subscribing if you're new. Rick Clanch. Rick Clanch. Yeah. With another coin story at the Conroe Money Show. Okay. So this was uh, about uh, 15 years ago. I bought a... Uh, an 1854-0 three dollar gold piece from a coin dealer for fourteen hundred and eighty five dollars that was my uh, uh, Christmas present to me that year and uh, the dealer had it graded uh, as the raw it was great it was raw he had it graded as an XF coin so I sent it in the NGC to get it graded it came back in AU 53 which this is a rare coin by the way and uh, I sold that coin for $8,000. So that's uh, just one of my many, many coin stories. This is a great hobby. If you want to be in this hobby, it's the hobby of kings. So if you want to be a king, get in this hobby. Did you want to shout out anyone? Your wife, your mother? My mother's passed, thank you. <laughs> but I'll still say hi to her. Sorry to hear about that. That's all right. Uh, say hi to my wife, okay. Patty. Of, uh, my soulmate, who I've been married to for 10 years and was engaged to for 40. That's Up it. north, baby. Huh? That's right. Thank you, Mr. Rick. I That's appreciate it. it. No problem. Anytime. All right, we're here with Royal Coins Houston at the Conroe Money Show, Houston Money Show, in the background. Um, how's the show been so far for you, Blake? It's a great show. It's usually uh, always a good turnout at this show. Um, Houston Coin Club. Greater Houston Coin Club, they put always put on a real good show. A lot of customers come in, a lot of business. Uh, dealers come in from all over the United States with all kinds of inventory. So it's a great place to come and find things you usually can't find at your local coin shop here in Houston area. And it's a great place to sell stuff too. Uh, a lot of dealers are looking for real specific things that you don't really see at the, the coin shops. And but it's an all around great show at this, this location. 
Yeah, it's a good variety, and you were also talking about how people are kind of having to buy online and not finding what they need, but uh, there's a lot of vendors that buy at these shows and then go online, um, and there's actually something out there. Uh, I've heard of bullionscoupons.com. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that? We know that you're like the founder of it and are trying to kind of help people out and push it. What, what, what's that all about? Yeah, so the website, bullioncoupons.com, uh, we put together to help sellers get their name out there where they can post uh, different coupons for their Instagram pages or their website or their coin store or Facebook page or wherever they want to sell eBay. Um, they can post coupons on there for free at right now. There's no charge to, to post anything. It's a great avenue to get your name out there. Um, and it's a great place for customers who are looking for a deal or looking for free shipping or money off of their purchase or uh, there's all kinds of coupons on there. Um, it's free to use. Customers can come on there, see if there's a coin shop or a coin dealer in their local area or if there's an Instagram seller or a YouTube seller or an eBay seller on there that might have a coupon code for something you're looking for. And uh, whenever you get a chance, check it out. It's boyandcoupons.com. It's free to use. It's pretty awesome. Um, and uh, we have another question. Where can we where can we find you? Where can we kind of buy coins from you? Uh, we know that not everybody can come to Houston, but you offer a lot of coins on your website, or do you offer where do you offer coins at? Yep. So we uh, we sell a lot in our store. If you're in Houston, come on by. Um, find us on Google Royal Coins. Um, not in Houston, we sell a lot on our website. We try to post at least a few coins on there, new coins on there every day that we're open. Uh, it's royalcoins.com and you can find us on Instagram too at royalcoinshouston. Okay, uh, and there's this ring that's been circulating around uh, Instagram. Uh, can you show the audience what this ring looks like and then kind of tell us what the ring means? I mean, yeah, it's, it's an amazing ring. I had it custom made by a, a really uh, cool artist out there. Uh, so let me show y'all. Wow, what is, what's that ring stand for? Uh, it has three initials on it, uh, F, J, B. So some people know what that means and some don't. And if they don't know what it means, it means Joe Biden. Amen, sister. Hey, thank you, Blake. I really appreciate hey, it. Hey, no problem. Y'all have a good one. So we just wrapped up the show for today, guys. Uh, we have all these coins here that you guys you know, are going to see later, a few of them. Uh, but most of them will be on our website, AkushaCollectibles.com. Also, huge shout out to Silver Scrounger right here. We're gonna have his uh, link down below. Really cool logo and sticker, uh, but the show is phenomenal. Great, great coins, great people. Um, and so let me take these coins home and uh, show you a few of them. All right, guys, so we just made it home from the Conroe Houston Money Show. Uh, like we said, great people that we met today, but we're gonna break down three coins for you right now. Uh, just a few of the best coins that we found today. First up, we have this 1900 uh, Morgan dollar. It's a little bit harder date for toning. It's graded mint state 64 by PCGS. The reason why we bought this coin is because it has that toning right down by the date. Um, also going on to the neck, it has that really beautiful rainbow. And the point that I really, the reason why I really bought this coin is because the toning actually has like a little arch in it. If you look all the way to the left in front of her face, that's kind of my favorite part about the coin. Just something that makes it unique. Uh, then when we flip over the coin, it has a little bit of uh, kind of that crescent to the left of the coin. Still a really nice blast white coin uh, for a P-Mint. So, very happy about that coin. Uh, the, the coin we want to show you guys next is this 1861 three cent nickel. Um, the reason why we like this coin so much, I'm sorry, it's the three cent piece or something like that. But the reason why we like this coin so much is because on the obverse it has a really nice rainbow as well. Um, it's got some greens, reds, blues. Um, it is a circulated coin, it is an annex holder, but the coin alone itself is just very nice. Um, then when we flip over the coin, you can actually see the rest of the rainbow on the reverse. You're kind of seeing a little bit of that green, that blue, and a little bit of like brown as well. So very interesting piece, you don't really run into stuff like this too often, so very thankful for that. Um, and the last coin I want to show you guys is this 1911 uh, Shield Nickel, Liberty, Liberty V Nickel actually. Um, this Liberty V nickel, the reason why I bought it is because it has toning on both sides. I'm buying a lot of toning today just because that was what is available. And it really kind of, when you're buying coins with toning, it makes it makes them stand out among other ones. But 
you can kind of see a little bit of orange and pink and green on the obverse here. A little hazy, but still a nice gem state coin. Um, I like it a lot, but the really interesting part is when you flip over the coin, um, you can see green right up by the United States. It's really intense. And we have that pink, and then we have that orange going throughout the rest of the coin. Very fortunate on this coin as well. Um, but overall, a lot of nice pickups. Um, thank you guys for coming along with us, and let's cut it to the outro. We hope you guys enjoyed today's video, the interviews, uh, the coins that you were shown. Uh, we really want, want to put more time and effort into cataloging everything that we see. Um, remember to go visit our website, AkushaCollectibles.com, for all the coins you may have seen today. Um, like this video if you want to see more coin videos like this. Subscribe if you're new and comment down below. Here we are with Drew from Akusha Collectibles. Yes, sir. And uh, he's another YouTube channel guy, and I love following him. And we talk a little bit online and everything. But uh, how long have you guys been doing the, the coin thing? So we started in 2019. Uh, I bought my grandmother's collection. Uh, basically, she picked them up out of drawers when she was a kid. Um, but. You know, as time evolved, I, I bought that collection and then I started buying and selling coins as soon as the pandemic started. And my first ever coin show was actually in Conroe last year. So uh, we've been doing it for about uh, you know a year and a half now, so it's been pretty good. All right. And uh, you got your own uh, website and everything, an online store? Oh yeah, we create our own videos that basically promotes our website but also gives people value. Um, so, yeah, our, our website's been pretty, pretty good. We offer a lot of variety of stuff. Um, just a central place for everyone to congregate and buy things. And then we also have a really nice community on Instagram and YouTube. And what's the website? It's AkushaCollectibles.com. You know, you can go over there. But spend, spend your money with your boy that's behind the camera because he's got a lot of nice stuff too. <laughs> so, some questions I've got from viewers and uh, on some uh, Facebook groups and everything that they want to answer. Yes, sir. Is uh, how do you uh, determine if a coin is worth grading or not? So there's a few variables that I take into account. Uh, one is it a problem coin? So if it's clean, uh, has a rim ding, uh, any damage of any sorts um, is a key component in determining if a coin's needing to be graded. Also, it's depending on the rarity of the coin. So you know if it's a 1909 SVDB. Um, most of the time, you're gonna want that graded. Um, if it's a, if it's a rare double die um, that's sought after, you're gonna want to get that graded. Um, basically, like I said, it depends on the rarity, how valuable it can be, um, but also is it um, in good condition enough to uh, deem that valuable and worth it to send it. So it's two different components there, but that's why I rest on with sending coins in. All right. So you mentioned clean coins being a, a problem coin. Right. What are some of the, the signs that a coin's been cleaned? So there's a few things that you can pick up on. Um, there's something called old cleaning, which means there's cleaning kind of around the rim of the coin. And, uh, and as time progresses, everything starts to fill back in. But you can kind of see uh, cleaning around the stars. Um, there's also pretty harsh cleaning um, on coins. And there's also, co there's also chemical cleaning, which strips a coin. Um, so a few things that you can actually look out for, but uh, we'll, both of us will start making videos about clean coins because it's important for people to understand so they don't get themselves too far uh, in the hobby and spend too much money on clean coins that they thought were 100% original. Absolutely. And I actually do have a, a plan to do a video on the clean coins. Nice. I've got a couple of great examples of them. and. The main reason why I bought those is because they just show so well on video against, you know, a natural coin. So, you've only been uh, really doing this for a couple of years. Right. So, what would be your advice to to other uh, newer coin collectors and everything for what resources they could use to determine a coin's value, such as, say, they go into Royal Coin and Jewelry and they see a, a coin in a flip that says it's $235. Right. 
what kind of resources can they use to verify that it's worth that? So there's three indicators, well actually four indicators that I use for purchasing and selling coins. Um, I use Graysheet, which is kind of a wholesale bid that comes out every month. You can pay $35, I believe, a month to get the magazine and online membership. And that allows you to figure out what people have paid uh, or are paying for coins, kind of in the dealer space. Uh, we have CoinFax, which is another app you can download on your phone. Uh, PCGS puts that out. It basically offers auction archives uh, for eBay, um, for also different types like David Lawrence and other small type of auction houses. Um, then I use eBay as well. It's always good to double check that because um, there's things that are listed and there's things that are sold. So there's two different things you have to look for on eBay. Um, and then the, the fourth thing which I would focus on the most is, do you have a buyer for it? Um, if you have a buyer for it, sometimes it's easier to pick up that coin. But if you don't, it's always good to start on uh, something that you enjoy collecting. So say if you like Morgans, I would start trying to buy and sell Morgans for a great deal. Um, just because you enjoy it, and at the end of the day, um, if you can't sell it or have a tr trouble selling it um, or finding a buyer for it, you can keep it or uh, you can break even on it. So it, it offers many different things, but those four things are my main indicators for selling and buying coins. All right. So one more question is, uh, you got I think, a really good one for you. Why is there so much attraction to toned coins? What kind of toning is good to keep an eye out for? And is there a certain toning that actually devalues the coin? So, uh, a few questions there. Um, but the first thing that I would want to answer is basically, you're, you're asking which, which kind of toning is more valuable. Is that what you're kind of asking with that question? Something to look out for, to, to keep an eye out for, to consider buying. So, uh, most people that enjoy kind of the tone, tone coins, they like uh, coins that are original but also have that unique color to it. And most of the time it's going to be revolving around a rainbow or it's going to be revolved around kind of deep greens that you would see on a coin. Um, a great resource for this is MonsterToneMorgans.com. It tells people how coins are toned, uh, what coins are more desirable when toned, um, and what price ranges you can expect for toned coins. Um, and when you're uh, and not all toning is actually adding value to a coin. Um, there's, there's coins that tone kind of terminal. Uh, there's coins that kind of tone that they kind of look dusty or uh, people will call them more original. Um, that type of toning normally takes away um, sometimes from the value just because it doesn't have that eye appeal that uh, monster toned coins might have. So there's a the blast white, there's the ugly tone, and there's the beautifully toned. So three different categories all kind of combined into one with the coin community. All right. So, Drew, again, yes, thank you very much for, for hooking us up with this interview. It's my uh, you guys need to check him out on YouTube and also his uh, website. Check out the coins he's got for sale. I'm sure he's going to have some from here that he's going to be selling as well. Yeah. And uh, I'll leave a link to his description. I'm going to edit that part out. That's okay. I'm going to leave a link to his YouTube channel and his website down below Heck yeah. in the description. Hey, thanks for the interview. I appreciate it, brother. All right. I appreciate it, too.